my joyful creators and welcome to Cynthia's Joyful Creations. I am Cynthia and this is my Joyful Creation space. We have been on an exciting ride, endeavor, journey, voyage through my yarn wall, checking out all the luscious yarn that is behind me. I appreciate and thank you for helping me to get it organized and just remind myself a little bit what was actually on the wall. We've had a couple giveaways and I appreciate some of you taking that yarn off my hands, but what I appreciate even more is the fact that you have shared with me some pictures of things that you have created with that yarn. And so I am excited that we are on this journey together. So we have arrived at our destination and what is our destination? Why none other than the Joyful Creation Studio space. So without further ado, let's get the tour started. So this is my yarn wall in its entirety. And as you can see, it's not near as big as it appears to be. But let's go take a look at it a lot closer. Up here on the top, I keep different bags and things for working on whips. And this one here, I have a lot of cardboard tubing that my husband brings home from his job that allows me to help use to wrap some yarn around if I need it. And so here again is all the yarn. We've been through all of these different shelves. A couple things I want to show you up close. Those are the angels we made a while back. And this is a sign that a very good friend of mine made me, Tasha. Thank you. And this is a ornament that my friend Melinda gave me. And it says, you are an amazing friend. She is an amazing friend. We have known each other since we were like six. And this is a black sign that my husband found for me. And then I put the stickers on it. And it's a little crooked trying to hold my camera up. And then these are some, nother, some more little knickknacks that my friend Melinda gave me. Kind of makes me think of our Longmire movie we're watching right now. And then this here is the basket that I made from Crochet Society. And as you can see, I keep some scissors and yarn needles and things in it, stitch markers for my tutorials. And here are our boxes that we're using right now for our Saturday shout out, love, share subscribers. And down here in this wooden cart, I keep all of my notebooks of all my notes of all my videos for each week. And this wonderful little cart, my husband designed this and made it for me. And it's actually on wheels. Down here on the very bottom of my yarn wall are boxes and in those boxes are all the whips that I'm either working on, like my daughter-in-law's hoodie, yarn that I have bought to make a baby blanket with for my soon-to-be granddaughter. Also, I have down there yarn for the pocket shawl that I'm designing and other yarn on projects that I want to get started. All right. And there is the camera that I use right now when I'm actually filming my tutorials and my ladder to get to the yarn on the top of my yarn wall because I am not tall enough. And then down in this flowered Pioneer Woman bag is where I keep all of my yarn scraps. So you can see I don't have very many yarn scraps and that's because I try to use my, arm, my yarn very wisely and I try to put it in a project right away if I have some left over. This basket right here, I use it to put things in throughout the week that I'll need for my Friday lives. As you can see, it's empty and that's because I'm filming on Saturday and we did our lives yesterday, so it's empty to start over for the week. And right here, this is 
a door. It leads out to my kitchen. And I'm going to step back a little bit. And there's the flag for my son that was flown over the Pentagon after he finished the crucible. And I have my TV where I watch a lot of YouTube and Longmire currently. Here are my buddies that inspire me. They are my two beta fish. And they're currently in their little caves, but I'll see if I can zoom in on them here and they might even come out because I hear my voice this is Rojo at the time that I got them I was teaching myself Spanish so say hello Rojo and then over here we have Azul in here and hopefully he'll come out like Rojo did, which is really funny because Rojo is more of my shy fish than Azul. You gonna come out and see us, Azul? Huh? You gonna come say hey? No? You gonna come out and say hey? Hmm? I was hoping he would come out because he's got some really long, beautiful blue and purple fins. Ah, uh, here he goes. You're going to come out and say hey and spread that long, beautiful fin you got? I was going to say, usually they come out from my, to my voice. See, Rojo is already back in his cave. Usually when I come over and talk to them, they usually do come out. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Isn't he just gorgeous? Hey, Azul. You saying hello? All right. And follow your dreams. There he is. You can see how pretty he is. But anyway, so on this shelf, I just keep things that I need. my fish food and then I'm going to come right back up here and share this picture up here and it says don't dream your life live your dreams all right and my TV, it extends out from the wall, so that's very helpful when I'm doing tutorials or watching YouTube videos. And then over here, I have this Grace butterfly, and it says it is by grace that you've been saved, Ephesians 2.8. And my friend Melinda and I have matching pictures like that. And in this little caddy, I keep all my pens and my markers and highlighters. And in this little shelving unit, I found it at Goodwill. It keeps all of my paperwork, all my notes from my previous videos. And then this is the bottom of the cabinet that Rojo and Azul are on. And of course, it's got a built-in heater. And in the warmer months, I can actually just do the fireplace and not the heater. And my DVD player. And then right there... You can see the crochet 
bag that we made with the checkerboard game and my white chair and the pillow that we made the Christmas pillow we made I can't wait to give it to the recipient and below that I've got a little vacuum cleaner because I'm a neat freak and then that bag right there it is ready to just throw a project in and have an on-the-go whip bag and then in this built-in china hutch I have um, all kinds of goodies. I have cardstock at the top there, things for making cards and construction paper. And then I have my devotional books and tart wax for the tart burner over here. And then on that shelf, I have all of my crochet books and projects that I have created over the years or I have gathered. And then in the bottom there, I have stuff to make all of my candles. Um, I do make homemade candles because I love burning candles. Here's my stay home, stay crafty box. And right now I'm currently using that yarn to make a spider stitch baby blanket. And right below in that bottom basket is my Elvis blanket I'm working on. I'm hoping to put a new project in that one. Coming over here is my lamp. Can you tell I love butterflies? And then I have my devotional book right there. And then coming over here is my Bible. And there's a doily that I made. And that little elephant is something from my husband's childhood. And that reminds me, I had told you in another video when I was doing the yarn that I would show you the table runner that I had made. And that was using some of that comfy cotton yarn. But that was it. All right. And then this, that the lamp and my Bible and stuff are sitting on, is my sewing machine that my mom bought me. And then this chair with it is an antique chair that was from my husband's family heirlooms. And then this caddy. I love these caddies. I use this caddy for all projects that I'm working on for tutorials, except for that little hat and bonnet or booty set. I just made that and stuck it in there. Dishcloths from my very, very beginning tutorials. I am making some of those to give to the mail lady and my son's new home. And then this table here, I bought at Goodwill. My husband put the shelf on the bottom because it just had a bar running across it. And then the very top of it had a metal top. And a very good friend of mine who's passed away now, he took that metal top off and he created that very nice wooden top for it. And then my husband made me this stand. It's actually on an old computer monitor stand. And so anytime I have a written um, pattern, I can actually put it on there. And you can tell it's got a little lip at the bottom. So if I actually have a book, it'll help hold a book on there. This is my mail basket. Any mail that comes in that I've got to take care of at a later date, I put in there. And as you can see, it's got butterflies on it. And let me take a very quick step back to show you that side of the room. That window opens up to a side yard. We used to have a swimming pool out there, but we don't anymore. And this is my favorite part of my room. I just love that sign. I found that a couple months ago when we were visiting our friends in Virginia. And then there's my day bed. And one other quick add was this little plant stand here that I got when I was a missionary. And I just use it sometimes as either an extra table or as a stool to sit on when I have um, company. And on top is the Jaden Stitches 2019 calendar blanket. I've got everything done. I just need to get it on the blanket. Hoping to finish that before the end of the year. And at the end of the day bed here, I've got my dry erase board for any notes that I need to take. And there's the Crochet Society box vote and the wrap one. Up here, I have some pictures of my kids when they were younger and my marine son and then little knickknacks that they made me. And I have paper that I hang on to because um, I'm constantly collecting paper to take notes with. And then this is just a little checkoff sheet that I created for my videos to make sure that I get everything done. 
And there is the little pail and shovel that we made from Crochet Society and my dry erase markers. And so let me step back here so I can show you. There's the double doors that go out to my living room. And then I'm gonna show you this little sign that's up here. And this picture says, live well. Don't rush through life. It's a journey, not a race. Trust in the goodness of people. Work harder than everyone else. Forgive and forget. Tell someone you love them every day. Be honest and kind. Make time to go to church and remember to say your prayers. Laugh whenever you can and leave your worries behind. Be honorable. Live today like it was your last. And then coming over here, there is my mannequin. Got her from Hobby Lobby. And my armoire. And it just holds like all my buttons and crochet and knitting needles and all my accessories for that. Any kind of cloth fabrics I have. My towels that I put on the table for tutorials. And then at the top here, I have my threads. I've got another rack behind that one in the front and a couple mannequins with some hats that I made. And then my Crochet Society boxes, my Lethal Co. boxes, a couple um, crochet surprise boxes, my vintage Raggedy Ann, my little Christmas puppy, and the big polyfill bag that my husband found on the clearance aisle at Walmart. And then that little picture sign up there was given to me by my dear friend Beverly. And notice it has a butterfly and it says life is fragile handle with care and then coming down here is my craft table slash desk and I do keep on there my little um, day planner my project planner book I have pens and pencils and paper for taking notes and my lotion of course and something to clean the screen on my computer with my computer and then there is the uh, camera and stand that I use for my lives. But I wanted to show you this table. It is really cool. My husband and I found this table at Goodwill. And those legs will actually come together. And then the table will fold down. And if you can see from the end here to the seam right here, that all would fold down. And the other side does the same thing. So it only has a portion when it's closed of, of table that's probably about that wide. So it makes it very small, which is great for being able to have extra space in here if I need it for something, if there's a project that I want to work on and use the floor space, or if I want to exercise. And then there's my yarn ball winder. And then coming around, I had moved this in the beginning of the video so you could see the boxes on the bottom. But there's an antique stool. It actually matches the chair there at the sewing machine. But that's my Longmire blanket. And in case you weren't on any of yesterday's videos, here's a sneak peek at part three of the Longmire blanket. And I want to show you one last really cool thing that my husband did for me. He installed a light in here that allows me to be able to dim the light. But I'm gonna turn it off to show you because it's so bright, even dim, that it is kind of blinding. And that's it right there. And you can see how nice and dark it gets in here when the light's not on, which is great if I want to, you know, watch TV. And then again, I have my little tarp burner burning. And then the fireplace, how nice and cozy. This concludes the tour of my yarn studio. I hope you have enjoyed this little tour and an opportunity to see where all the joyful creation magic happens. This is also the conclusion to our yarn wall voyage. It has been a wonderful and exciting adventure. I look forward to many more adventures with you. And so until then, or the next time we're together, be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, and make your own joyful creations. Bye everyone.